When people exit your life, but still watch you, it can evoke many ranges of feelings and emotions. Hey, you guys, it's me, Rini, and today's video, we're gonna briefly talk about when people exit your life, but still watch you. So this situation often occurs in the age of social media, where when friendships fade or relationships end, individuals still seem to like to watch each other's online activities, but why? So here are a few potential perspectives on this scenario. So curiosity is the first thing. Why are they keeping tags on you? Why are they keeping tabs on you? Are they being sentimental? Do they want to see you struggle? Or are they really curious about how you're doing in life without wanting to actively be in your life or still on the low want to be in your life? So that's why they watch you. They want to see what you're doing, what's going on. They down low miss you. They miss the friendship. They just want to see what's going on with you in your life. Or they, sometimes people really want to see you fail, want to see you struggle. So they want to watch and they're rooting for your downfall. And that's sad. So the next one would be closure. So for some, knowing that someone from their past is still watching them, even though that that relationship has been severed, can serve as a reminder that that connection still holds some significance to that person. And they can offer some closure for that person that they still on the down low care. You know what I mean? Validation. So being watched, even from a distance, can provide some sense of validation because it shows that even though you're no longer involved in that person's life and they're no longer involved in your life, your life still seems to be of interest to them. So they're gonna to continue to watch. So you can get a sense of validation knowing that, okay, y'all done exited, but you're still watching me. <laughs> Intrusiveness. So on the flip side, being watched by someone um, who's exited your life can also have you feel scrutinized or judged by the person. It can, it can make you feel uncomfortable. You know, especially if the relationship ended poorly, it can make you feel like you're being, um, they're being invasive and it can make you feel uncomfortable. So there is a flip side to that as well. The last one being moving on because ultimately it's important to focus on your own well-being. So whether someone from your life is watching or not, it is important for you to continue living your life as authentically and go ahead and pursue your dreams and live your life regardless. So if you find that someone who has exited your life is causing you distress or comfort, it might be helpful for you to set boundaries by limiting access to um, your social media profiles. Um, you might just have to do that. And you also will have to figure out ways to just go ahead and live your life without being distracted by their presence. Just go ahead and do what you got to do. Like I said, live your life authentically, continue to set your goals and just be happily you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share the video, and I'll see y'all at the next video. Bye.